Well, there's been some high profile merger and acquisition news recently. Michael Dell taking Dell Computer Private, Warren Buffett buying Heinz Foods, and Office Depot and Office Max merging. In this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360, U.S. Bank Senior Portfolio Manager Mike Deniman joins Business Courier Editor Rob Dahmeyer to talk about what's motivating these individuals and what it means for the market. Rob and Mike. Peg, thank you. Mike, thanks for being here. Good morning. So, as uh, you mentioned, a couple big ones. Obviously, there's a lot more smaller ones as well. But what's driving this wave of mergers and acquisitions? Sure, sure. Well, you typically see a lot of these types of transactions when the market is strong, which it certainly has been so far this year. And oftentimes, a lot of these deals are driven also by low interest rates. So we've got that currently as well. So it's it's a great environment for a lot of. of merger and acquisitions and provided things stay like they have been we're likely to see a, a number of, of additional deals announced here in, in the near future not all deals are the same you've got uh, some that are organized by insiders some by outsiders why would an insider want to buy their own company sure well th that has a lot to do with with control usually so a great example there is is Dell computer this is a company that, that Michael Dell founded in, in the 1980s and took public with an IPO just a few years later. But once you do that, even if you still run the company, you've given up a, an awful lot of control. Now you've got shareholders, you've got a board of, of directors. They're looking for consistent results. So you can't just run the company on a whim any longer. So what Michael Dell and his partners are doing is they're using cash to buy back all of the shares from the public, and then it'll be a private company again. He can implement this, this restructuring that he's got in mind, this new vision for the company, without worrying about what the shareholders think or, or how the market reacts. Really is both ways. I mean, you think about uh, Dell wanting control. I mean, I think of Mark Zuckerberg, who really did not want right. Facebook to go public. He, right. I mean, this was his baby, and he, he held out as long as he could. Sure. Why would an insider, uh, outsider, excuse me, why would an outsider at this point, 2013, why would they want to get into a company? Sure. Well, th that oftentimes is driven from an investment standpoint. So everyone's familiar with, with Warren Buffett, and making acquisitions has been commonplace for him yeah. over the years. And Heinz is the type of company that, that he's fond of investing in. It's a consumer-oriented company, very, very easily understandable, very strong company, and more importantly, it's got a great cash flow. So you look at the type of companies that he's invested heavily in over the years, like uh, Coca-Cola or Gamble locally. Yeah, yeah. Gillette. So Heinz very much fits that mold. So what he and his partners are doing is they are again using cash to buy back all of the shares from the public and then they own that as an investment maybe not a flashy investment but a very profitable one Heinz earns about a billion dollars a year so then that's profits that they themselves can retain they don't have to worry about splitting that with other shareholders and Buffett's uh, I think number four on the on the Forbes he's, billionaire he's list this year up, he's yeah. 56.3 billion I think which yeah. is just a little bit of money Mike thanks very much for being here thank you